Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here I have the Master Chief Halo figure uh, that just came out. Um, so let's go over to packaging here. So you get the Master Chief thing there with the accessories, and then you get the uh, UNSC logo there. You get the Spartan Collection there on the side. You get the Halo logo there. Uh, one set, uh, eight plus, and it includes game add-on. So that's cool. Um, and on the side, you get Master Chief there. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. It's not a lot. And then here's all the figures in that set. Uh, you get the UNSC uh, there, varnished on the top there. And then not, nothing else on the bottom. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Master Chief out of the packaging here. So he comes with the add-on. I'm not going to show the code because I might use it. Um, but first I'm planning on getting the PS5 and then once I get enough money, I will probably get to Xbox Series X so I can play Halo and a few other, uh, Xbox exclusive games and probably like Warzone with friends and stuff like that. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And then he comes with, I don't know where his pistol, oh, never mind. He does have his pistol right here. I thought that was the end for a second. But he comes with his, uh, I forgot what weapon you call this again. I love this weapon in the game. Um... I haven't played Halo for a bit, so I might try to play it again soon. But, yeah, you get this gun. Um, I know Hasbro has um, a Nerf gun of this coming out soon, so that's cool. So, yeah, part of it is black here. You get the black part here on the underneath the barrel or whatever you want to call it. And the muzzle is black, and then the rest is gray. I wish they would add some cool, like uh, the numbers or something there, like it did for the ammo. But, eh, it's okay. Nothing bad, so that's good. And he comes with this pistol, so part of it is like camo green right here, and then the rest is black, so looks a lot like it. So I like it a lot. And he comes with like this uh, one hand that is kind of pointing or whatever, uh, or probably like I'm guessing maybe it's supposed to be like he's about to fire, but not really. But I don't think it fits, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think this pistol fits in the hand there to be able to do that i'm not sure maybe you can you can do that but it just can't it doesn't really fit in there so i'm pretty sure it's just meant for pointing i think but i'm not sure but yeah and then he comes with two fisted hands you get those nice forearm guards uh, hand guards there so that's cool good job on the sculpt and then you get two relaxed hands here so yeah like the little details there in the palm and yeah um but besides that that's all we got for accessories so here's master chief here up front i really like what they did with the visor it's really reflective like it should be in the game i do have the master chief from like halo 4 so i'll do a comparison with that but this one's way this one i feel like is a better size or scale instead of that one i think but yeah um, so you get that cool visor there. Um, you get some black details through there. You get the little uh, vents there. You get some black lining around the visor. <clears throat> you got this little peg there to hold this um, gun. But I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. Um, and then you get that, his like number 117. Uh, you get some more gray pieces there. Some more detailing square um you get these shoulder pads so that's cool uh i feel like these two are different shades of the camel green but i'm not quite sure i'm pretty sure they're different shades though it kind of looks like it i like how they make it i'm not sure if you guys are able to tell but it looks worn so you get some gray pieces yeah you get some gray spots to make it look like it's scratched up and worn so that's cool I wish they would have added a little bit of that same detail into the ha hands there, but it's not going to bother me a whole lot. You can barely tell. Um, but yeah, continuing with the like scratches and stuff, there's those right there. They add on a bunch of scratches, which is cool because he has six games now. <laughs> I'm actually curious if they're going to have lock in it, lock in the, uh, 
infinite because uh, I don't think they ever really, I think they've found a way to like get an agreement, but I don't really know. But yeah, you get some scratches on the bottom of his feet like he would if since he's walking all the time on those, so <laughs> duh. Um, but yeah, I like this figure a lot. He's really cool. Um, but let's go over his articulation here. So his head can move down that far, up just that far. You can look left and right. You get some head pivoting. I think the, there's a neck joint in there? No, there's not. It kind of looked like it because of that. Kind of, this kind of gives that, that look, but it's not. Uh, your shoulders can move out just a little bit that far. The pads kind of move so that way you can be able to get up just a little bit further. He does have a little a slight butterfly joint, so you don't get a whole bunch of movement, but it's a butterfly joint, so it's kind of helpful. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. You got a bicep swivel. Yeah, because of the, the, the pad there is attached to that bicep, actually. So that's cool. I thought it was attached to the shoulder, but it's actually attached to the bicep part of the swivel. So that's cool. Yeah, double jointed elbows, so you get way past 90 degrees there. Uh, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, and 360 rotation around there. He has a ball joint at the top, so you can get him to go. Oh, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to happen, but I think you can just pop it back in. Yeah, so yeah, you can't really go forward that far, but he'll, he'll be mainly standing straight up and backwards to zero. But you get him to go side a little bit there, another one to the side. So, yeah, not a whole lot of going back and forth. And no, I think he does have a waist. Yeah, he has another ball, a oh, waist, another ball joint at the waist, but you can barely. What the hell is going on? I guess you could take apart the guy if you want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you get a little bit of movement at the waist there, but not 360 or anything like that. You can't do a 360 with these guys, so. That's a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, it's, who's going to do 360 with them? But you get him to kick out that far, which is really good. You get him to go forward real far, too, so that's good, too. You can get him to kick back quite a bit. Uh, he does have a thigh cut. He has double-jointed knees, so you can almost get him to do a butt kick, but not quite. Um, his uh, ankles can hinge down. Oh, that's cool. So even though this is would be it would have been the way, it still goes around. So that's cool. You get him to go pa way past there, and then up just a little bit, but now a lot. And you get a nice ankle pivot, and then his toes can hinge down that far, and then up that far, and then here it is normal. So yeah, um, and then for the just putting the guns onto the like the peg here. So he has a hole right here. And just want to port that into his back here, like that, and then boom. And then you can just have him hold this, I guess. Oh, wait, no, there's a hole in this. So let's see here. Where would you? I know it's not supposed to go in the back, so where's the other hole? I meant the other, like, oh, I see. So see this? You just want to take that off right there and then flip it around. Just like that. That's that's very really sneaky, and then it does that on the other side too. So you can switch sides if you want, and just plug that in. That's real sneaky right there. That is actually an awesome idea. But yeah, um, I think this figure is really cool. Okay, so right now I cannot find Master Chief from the Halo 4 figures, um, but I do have Spartan 104. And Master Chief, that uh, the Halo 4 Master Chief is shorter than this guy. I think he's like bad at his shoulder. So definitely way difference in size. I prefer to be like that because it kind of is. Whoa, excuse me. He's kind of in scale with uh, the Marvel Legends and all those other 6-inch figures, so... Because I, he would be taller than normal people. And this guy would be t way taller than Master Chief, so. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think this figure is really cool. I, I like it a lot. Especially, it's pretty cool how they 
give you like a little add-on for getting this guy. So uh, it kind of gives you a reason to get the Halo game. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the whole open world aspect to it. Like, what does it remind me of? I'm trying to figure out. Uh, it kind of reminds me of... Shoot, I don't, I can't think of the game, but uh, it's, I would have thought they would have had like multiple locations or something like that. I'm pretty sure they may have a different difference in locations when you go around the map. So I guess we'll see. I don't know much about the new Halo game. They only showed part of the gameplay and stuff like that. Um, I, I think a lot of us don't know what's going on in the game. So besides that... Um, that one group, I forgot that what they were called to. It's not to flood, I know that, but uh, yeah, I think this figure is really cool. So if you want to, you can go grab them. I'm pretty sure the uh, stores are running out of them pretty fast. Like my Target yesterday, they had like six of them. And I took the last one uh, to the day. So yeah, if you want to get them, I'd probably get them as soon as possible, probably. But yeah. Um, but like I said, real cool figure. But besides that, that's all I got.